There's usually a story we tell ourselves about menopause, and honestly, it's not usually a pleasant one. And today, because your body is changing and evolving, and that's cool, we're gonna explore that in its fullness. So even if your vag is starting to feel like the Sahara Desert, there's ways that we can help you get your mojo back. Hi, I'm Al, and welcome to Dame, where we talk about sexual wellness and pleasure for anybody at any age, and today we're talking about menopause. See, when you're born with a womb, your body goes through some major changes throughout your life, like pregnancy, and of course, menopause. These changes can be beautiful, but they're changes, and that means we have to relearn our bodies, which can be frustrating and cause concern and distress. So. Let's get into it. So what is menopause? Technically menopause is the moment your period stops, but the symptoms that we usually associate with menopause are actually part of something called perimenopause, which is when your ovaries gradually move towards that stopping and lead up to your final period. Kind of scary, but also kind of awesome because like, you know, getting your period was kind of a drag. So this is good, right? During perimenopause, this is when women or people with wombs generally experience irregular periods, hot flashes, mood shifts, vaginal dryness, sleep problems, weight changes, and other symptoms. See, as your fertility decreases, your estrogen and testosterone levels change rapidly in your body, and it can feel like your body is working against you, or at least your body is responding to a whole new body. This transition is totally normal as we move from being fertile humans to infertile humans. And that can be really cool. But the side effects of perimenopause can also impact how we experience our sexuality and change our relationship with our bodies and our partners. Please comment below if you've experienced any of these symptoms. There's nothing more powerful than shared narratives and hearing from each other. Anyway, sex does change during menopause and perimenopause, but that's to be expected because our bodies are changing and how much it changes depends on the person. I brought on Dr. Amy Novat, a gynecologist on Dame's clinical board, to share how your body and sex life can change before and after menopause and why it happens. Hi, my name is Dr. Amy Novat. I'm a board certified OBGYN. I'm here to speak briefly about some of the changes that happen to women as they transition into the postmenopause. Shortly before and then after our last menstrual cycle, technically called the menopause, our hormonal environment begins to shift with diminishing levels of estrogen, progesterone, and testosterone production. As a result of the reduction in these hormones, women can experience changes in their vaginas, orgasm, and libido. Though pleasurable sex is still possible and enjoyed by many throughout the aging process, it is good to know how to address some of the alterations that many women face into the postmenopausal timeframe. The vulvar and vaginal tissue can become drier, less elastic and thinner, and as a result, less comfortable with any manipulation or penetrative sex. Orgasms may take longer to achieve and the intensity of the climax may be lessened. And a diminished desire or change in libido is often described by women as they age due to social, physical, and psychological factors. To address the vulvo-vaginal dryness and loss of mobility, use a lubricant with any penetrative sex. And get accustomed to using vaginal moisturizers three or four times a week before bedtime to help keep the tissue mobile and comfortable during penetration. If this is not sufficient, ask your doctor about vaginal estrogen or DHEA. Orgasms may be enhanced by improving stimulation to the genitals and improving blood flow to the pelvis. This can be accomplished to some degree using vibrators to improve genital circulation and products with suction capacities to invigorate the tissue. Arousal serums may also be helpful in improving sensitivity to the pelvic tissue so orgasm is easier to achieve. Libido can be enhanced by improving communication communication with your partner, eliminating any pain or discomfort associated with sex, creating opportunity for lovemaking that is free of daily stressors. And one might try products like a massage oil to relax the body and free the mind of distracting worries and medically approved herbal and pharmaceutical products to enhance libido, enable a more pleasurable experience in spite of challenges that arise with aging.
Thank you. Okay, so after learning all that info, you're probably realizing that the sexual changes after menopause are completely normal. Everyone experiences menopausal sex differently. For some, their pleasure and sexuality have felt directly associated with their ability to reproduce, but for others, their pleasure and sexuality has no correlation with their fertility at all. Many people who experience experience menopause also end up having a bit of a shift in their identity because of the changes in both their body and how they experience pleasure. For some, this can be a sense of empowerment because they can have sex without the fear of becoming pregnant. For others, it's empowerment because they no longer want to have sex at all. And for some, it can be a real moment of change that makes us feel like we don't know who we are anymore. But Whatever it is on this wild ride, it is so important that we view it as an opportunity to redefine and rediscover what it is that we want. And whatever that is, it's beautiful and it's okay. Look, menopause is not the end of your sex life or it doesn't have to be the end of your sex life if you don't want it to be. But I don't want to sugarcoat it. Are your body's changing and exploring a new sexual path? While it can be fulfilling and empowering, it can also take a toll on your physical and mental health. So it's really important during this big shift that we pay attention to how we're feeling. Since one of the causes of vaginal dryness is a decrease in blood flow to the vagina, and one of the best things we can do to restore that blood flow is simply exercising and keeping yourself and your vagina active. And one great way of keeping your vagina active is by using a vibrator. This is gonna stimulate, bring blood and moisture to your vagina, and it also feels good. Also, don't be shy about using lube and vagina-safe moisturizers. These are especially necessary and helpful when dryness is causing pain and irritation that's making masturbation and sex less than fun. I'll talk more about my favorite plant-based body-safe lubes in a sec. Also, speaking with a sex therapist is another way we can really really take care of our minds as we're trying to understand our changes in desire, because this is often an emotional hardship as much as it is a physical one. We're gonna actually bring on a sex therapist to the channel, so make sure you comment below with any questions you have for them, and we'll ask. Additionally, talking to friends or joining a menopause support group is a really helpful way of learning tips or just having a shoulder to lean on while we're making this adjustment in our lives. I mean, there's just nothing better than talking to somebody who's going through it too. And of course, one of the most intuitive ways to hydrate your vagina is to hydrate your body. Everyone's always saying, and drink more water and they're right your body needs to be well hydrated in order to keep the skin and tissue of your vagina moist and it also makes it less susceptible to disrupting your vaginal microbiome because being dehydrated is actually a cause of yeast infection and itchiness so drink up. And as I mentioned before, lube can make masturbation and sex way less painful and way more fun. At Dame, we offer a water aloe-based lubricant that is designed to match the pH level of your vagina. Silicone and oil-based lubes can trap bacteria and kind of worsen the situation. So we highly recommend using a water-based lube during this time in your life. We also make an arousal serum that can help get the moisture flowing during up those clitoral nerve endings. It uses all plant-based ingredients to help spruce it up, make you feel those tingles down there, and which is really just bringing more blood flow to your vagina. We also recently introduced desire gummies that are doctor formulated to enhance your libido and increase sexual satisfaction. Suction toys like Dame's Air are also great for peri and menopausal people. The suction will help draw blood flow to that area to fight vaginal atrophy and, you know, make you feel Feel good. You can also check out all these products by heading to dame.com slash sex ed. And if you're interested in toys to get back in tune with your pleasure, make sure to watch our videos on massager tips and benefits and our Eva Hands-Free Couples Vibrator video. Anyway, I hope that we've lubricated your knowledge on vaginal dryness and menopause and its relationship to sex. Please subscribe, click that bell. This way you can always stay tuned and know about our latest videos. Thank you so much for watching.